Oh, hello ladies. This is the second time I've done this video. And I'm redoing it now. Sorry. Uh, I dropped something and I was afraid the puppy would get a hold of it. So. It is now. What is it? 4.57 p.m. on the 15th of July, Saturday, 2023. Here's what I have so far. Um, I'll start it out by saying hello to uh, Crafting with Thee. I feel your pain, your sorrow, and I wish I was there to hug you. I really do. <clears throat> and believe me. There is nothing you can do about anything when it comes to a pet. If you think it's an untimely passing, it's it's you can't prevent some things from happening. Never blame yourself on that. You love those animals just as much as your own children, I'm sure. And uh, you'll be fine. You know, don't apologize for crying. Don't apologize for taking time away to grieve. Uh, I pray for your son uh, to heal quickly and for your sorrow to uh, lessen every day. So don't be afraid to show your grief. Please don't. Uh, okay, I was going to do a video earlier today, and then I thought, well, I, you know, we had to take the puppy, or I mean the uh, kitty to the vet, and I figured I'll just wait until I get back with that, and then just do one whole video. So, last night, I would have worked more on this last night, but... I only worked on it for about an hour, and uh, my daughter had gotten some of these uh, murder mystery pamphlet thingies. Uh, not like the ones, you know, you get monthly and stuff, because they're just a little too expensive. But um, we got these, and they're all in like one packet, and they have photographs of, the, of different suspects, and uh, it has police reports, and newspaper clippings and yada yada all that stuff so we didn't eliminate anybody we did find one more suspect uh and that was something that we found by accident so instead of four or five suspects now we got like six or seven so uh we haven't thought any more about it we'll probably get together on it again in another few days so, by the time we were done messing around with that, uh, I said, man, I'm going to bed. It was like around 10 or 11, so I said, that's it. Went to sleep. Puppy woke me up at 5.30 this morning, which, not too bad. At least he let me sleep a little longer. And uh, I piddled around a little bit, did a little, watched videos, did a little uh, diamond painting. Um, Becky, I saw you open a 12-pack. You stinker, you. Because now Granny has a 12-pack. I have a 12-pack. Guess what Diamond Dolls are going to be doing in January? I'm going to you know, do one gnome a month. You can do one of yours a month. And there goes Granny, one a month. So... Happy, happy news for us. Come 2024, January. Cool. Um, Granny, <laughs> and, uh, I just watched your kid up. And I don't normally care for kid ups because, you know, you've seen one drill. Basically, you've seen them all and watch kidding up. And, you know, unless the person really has something to talk about, it's, you know, it's okay. But you made me laugh so hard. I mean, that... Very, very entertaining, dear lady. Very entertaining. 
I mean, I just popped some drills now. Oh boy, I guess we're both the same. I'm gonna be cleaning up my carpet again. Uh, you made it very entertaining. So, um, I enjoyed it immensely. I laughed. So, anyway, jumping from subject to subject, we took uh, Angel, our kitty, in. She'll be five the 21st of this month. And uh, she just had a little eye infection virus. Excuse me. And the vet said she was fine. He gave her a shot of antibiotic. And he um, gave us drops to put in her eye twice a day. Once in the morning, once at night. And a saline solution to wash her eye out. Uh, first thing in the morning. And then do the drops. So we wash her eye out once a day. And put the drops in twice a day. And then take her back in in a couple weeks or so. Just to check on it and then she'll get updated on her shots so she's doing good she was not happy she was not a happy camper at all because this is the first time in five years she's been out of the house i mean she's we've had her in the house all this time she never goes outdoors and uh she was not happy not at all Oh, so we did that. Then I came home and this package was on the uh, steps. And I said, I told my daughter, did you order something? She says, no, mom, those are yours. And I said, what do you mean they're mine? She says, I knew you'd forget. You wouldn't remember that you or had me order these. Well, no, I didn't remember. <clears throat> Not diamond paintings, by the way. Uh, and if I don't like them, that's why I'm being very careful on opening this. Because if I don't like them, they're going back. Okay, they come in a box. A box in a bag. And there's supposed to be a set of two. Now... Somebody needs to explain something to me. And when I open these up, I'll explain it to you. And then you explain it to me. Okay. These are... Those hangers. I hope you can see it. You know, that they're wood. Pretend wood. And the magnets in them. And the uh, rope you know, to hang it. Now, they had them where they were, like say, eight by 10 or 12 or 10 by 12 and blah, 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 blah. I was trying to figure out why are they telling me, they're telling me the width, but why are they telling me the length? Uh, these aren't attached. You don't put one at the top and have a rope behind it so it only goes 12 inches or 10 inches or whatever. So I didn't need someone to tell me. I mean, people in the reviews and stuff were saying, yeah, why are they saying that? You know, I got an 8-inch painting. Why do it, does it matter how long it is? So I have no idea either. Well, these were three for in the pack. Okay, I thought there were only two. So there's three of them. Uh, I wanted them for my gonk so that I could hang them up. So, uh, I suspect, you know, they'll hold them. I just have to figure out what to do with the border. You know, because I don't want to put it. Now, now the one that I want to do, my partial of the I'm crazy and I know me, uh, that one has a non-sticky background. So even if I trim it, this will go right onto the top of the black and the bottom. So it won't matter. Ah, I'm stuck to my painting. So these are just, oh boy, are they magnetized. And then they just, you know, you just 
put them on your painting and, you know, top and bottom. And there's your little rope. I hope you all can see this because I don't know what you're seeing. So these would work out really nice. But as I said, what makes a difference if one is, this, you know, this long, this long, it, you know, I, I just have no clue on it. But these are going to work out great if I can just, you know, figure out what to do with the paintings that have the white border. Uh, we'll have to see. So, I thought I would just come on here long enough to explain myself. And uh, let everybody know that I'm still diamond painting. I'm still working at, uh, are we still recording here? Okay. I'm still working on the, uh, you know, the pasta puppy. And hopefully, you know, I'll get a lot more done now since I'm done running for the rest of the month. My whole side of wall over there is all painted. So on Monday or Tuesday, then if you could see me, I'm going to paint that side. And that won't be too bad because there's two windows over there. So it's broke up. There's not a whole lot of wall there. Then I'm going to paint that side. And that side is just a bookcase sitting there with a about a three-quarter wall but the pain in the butt is is removing all that junk off my bookcase and then taking it off and putting it back on then the hardest section is behind me not because there's a bigger portion of the wall it's moving the day bed all the stuff underneath and this day bed is heavy and it is going to take up a lot more of the space in my room because my room is not that big. So it's going to interrupt my diamond painting for at least three quarters of that day. So I'm saving it for last. So I'm not going to stay on here much longer. I'm going to get my rear end gear. So I can do some more diamond painting. I had my dinner. Uh, oh, and by the way, uh, my puppy decided when he's alone, not alone, we're in one room, another room, wherever he wanders back and forth. He's, he figures, hey, anything in this house is fair game to chew. And we have tried to put up screens to block the areas that we know he's getting a hold of certain things. <sighs> he wiggle waggle shimmied his way behind the one chair. And I have square wicker baskets with buttons on them that has the little hook so that you can button it closed. All wicker. Now I'm missing a button. A wooden button off one of the baskets. We sat there and tried to figure out where it came from, what it was, what it was. And I spotted it. I have got to find uh, some used baby gates. I don't want to spend a fortune on a baby gate. I'm going to have to hit up some Goodwills uh, somewhere. I just need a couple extending baby gates. Or somebody's getting rid of, you know, throwing out some pieces of screen door or screen windows or something, and they're not large. So I can set them in front of certain areas that I know he will go to to chew. Uh, the only other, there's only two options. Muzzle him or remove his teeth. And I'm not going to remove his teeth. And I hate to muzzle him. Uh, I had a a Sheldy a long, long time ago, back in the 70s, that used to chew. He chewed up my husband's pack of cigarettes, and he chewed up one of my shoes. We invested in a muzzle. He could still eat, he could still drink, but he couldn't 
open his mouth enough to get something in to chew. Uh, he wore that about three or four days. And the only reason why it was only three or four days, he chewed it up off his face. <laughs> he chewed it. But thing is, from that day on, he never chewed again. Nothing. But he chewed that muzzle. It was a leather strap type muzzle. Not a big one, but a nice leather strap. You know, over the years, everything. He chewed it off his face. <laughs> but like I said, he never chewed again after that. So I don't know. Uh, that's how it works. So, okay, y'all. I don't know how long I've been on, but I'm telling you, I'm getting tired. I've been on long enough. And I know I'll probably end up diamond painting for a while and then cat napping. Uh, and then I'll probably be up all night again, which is going to screw up my schedule again. So, y'all have a good evening. Happy diamond painting. Enjoy your tonight and tomorrow. And uh, if I don't get on here tomorrow to discuss anything, have no fear. I'm still here and I'm not going to go anywhere. So... Goodbye for me and the pasta puppy chef. I will try and get back with you as soon as possible. This is Diamond Painting Crazy Lady. I am really far out of here. Bye-bye.